Hello everyone out there, it's John. Welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. Today, as you can see in the title, we're going to be reviewing Mountain Dew Purple Thunder. This is a dew with a bast of berry plum natural artificial flavor. And I think they have the same artists they've done with a few of these things before. Like the thrashed apple and the watermelon guy. There's little berries all around it. This one, I believe, is exclusive to Speedway gas stations. Uh, although, I just bought this off eBay, so I wouldn't have to go walk into one and just hope that they had them in stock. And it was decently priced, so I just bought it off line. And here I have it. It is a bluish purple. Um, the more light goes through it, the more blue it looks. But uh, it definitely has like a lavenderish purple hue. Um, I do have my cup of ice because you know, mainly with like dark colas, uh, when you add it to ice, you can help it out a bit, but. Some people like to drink all the drinks off of hot ice, so you have to try it both ways. As typical, it contains 0% juice, um, 73 grams of sugar in this, which is 146% of your daily value, so one and a half days worth of sugar is in one of these. Typically, the uh, ingredients won't tell you anything about it, but let's see what it says. Carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, citric acid, natural and artificial flavor, sodium benzoate, caffeine, sodium citrate, gum arabic, calcium disodium EDTA, red 40, blue 1. There's 91 milligrams of caffeine in this bottle. Let's give it a smell. It smells fruity. It smells like a Mountain Dew I've had before, though. Let's see what it tastes. I think the familiarity part of this is definitely the berry flavor. I'm sure they've had Mountain Dews that have some type of berry in it. Uh, voltage or one of those ones that has like a bluish tint to it I think but there is a little bit different here and I would probably say that is the plum aspect that they've added to this if you're not familiar with the flavor of plum I would describe it as like Take a, a uh, sweet cherry and just make it a little bit bigger and make it darker. So it's like a big, dark cherry. Which really, if you think about it, isn't too far off because both cherries and plums have pits. Uh, they're just a little bit different in size. Let's try it. It's nice. When you pour it over the ice, the blue color tends to come out more. And if you remember the ingredients list, it was blue and red. If you know your color mixings, blue and red make purple. But for some reason, the way the light's hitting this here with ice in it, it looks more blue. The red 40 does come first before blue 1 in the ingredients list. Typically, if it's first, there's more of it. I like it. It has a refreshing flavor. There's definitely a ton of sugar in there, for sure. But the flavor, although reminiscent of the berry ones, has a unique quality to it, which again, I'm going to credit to the plum aspect of the beverage. 
Purple Thunder. Mountain Dew. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. I have noticed, though. Mountain Dew just seems to be coming out with new flavors all the time. And they always say it's Dew with something else. But it's less and less tasting like there's Dew with something else. And just something else completely. It's like a sun-kissed or crush. When you say, I have a can of crush, you might think in your mind, it's orange soda. You might think in your mind, it's grape soda. When you say Mountain Dew, you think of the green Mountain Dew. But, I believe there will become a time soon where someone says Mountain Dew, and you don't automatically think green. Because they're saturated in the market with so many different colors that's becoming like a crush or a sunkissed. Where you could have orange, grape, strawberry, blue raspberry, pineapple, peach. I think I've seen peach crush before too. And really the only difference is Mountain Dew has caffeine in them, and I believe crush and sunkissed are caffeine free. I enjoy the color, enjoy the scent. I definitely enjoy that flavor. Speaking of different flavors of Mountain Dew, I remember when Code Red first came out. I believe I was in seventh or eighth grade, maybe. And it was awesome. It was a sugary juice that made you jump off the walls. You could go to a friend's house, spend the night, not sleep at all, play video games, watch movies, and drink Code Red all night long. Of course, as an adult now, I know, I know now, that it's probably terrible for my body as a growing youth. And it definitely made you grow in one way, this way. Uh, if I know what I knew now as a child, probably definitely would have told myself to drink less soda. And I know I'm saying that while drinking soda now, as an adult, but the only times I drink soda with sugar is here when you watch me do it. If I purchase any large amount of soda, it's always the zero sugar diet stuff, which, you know, I'm sure isn't the best for you, but uh, it's kind of like the difference between vaping nicotine and smoking a cigarette. One's definitely worse for you. <sighs> yeah, I like it. Do they make a diet version of this? Usually Mountain Dew doesn't come out with uh, two versions. I think for a few of them they did. I know for the watermelon one, it definitely had a zero sugar version, which I liked. Um, but didn't see it for this one. I haven't seen it for other ones they've come out with. There's not like a Mountain Dew Flamin' Hot Zero Sugar. Which also was probably one of the worst ones they came out with. I like this. Purple Thunder. Go to a Speedway. Or if you're traveling and need gas and you see a Speedway, stop by and see if they have these. It's tasty. I like it. I think you'll like it too. But remember to drink them responsibly. Until next time, like, subscribe, bye.